My name is Larry and I have an LVAD. LVAD stands for Left Ventricular Assist Devices. Um, and that is really the technology that has taken off the most. The left ventricular assist devices are small pumps that are now actually put directly into the heart and uh, they're powered by two batteries that are outside of the body that patients usually carry with them and then they have the small controller with the alarms um, and uh, that has some information that patients can look at regarding the parameters of their, of their heart pump. The left ventricular assist devices are put in and essentially they're there forever and patients go, go home and uh, they go back to their lives. Have you been bowling? I uh, uh, belong to a league and uh -huh. I bowl twice a week. How have your games been? Well, On a good day when actually, you're not taking... Yeah, I, I had one game where I had the highest score of my teammates and uh, wow. that made me feel good. There are uh, adjustments that you make, you know, as you go along as to what uh, type of uh, equipment that is you feel best suited for you to carry this stuff. There, there are straps that have pockets, uh, there are vests, and I've, I've tried them all and I still like this better, but uh, to each its own, but this is what I like. I have to carry a backup bag, which weighs the same as this, and between the two of them, it weighs as much as my bowling, bowling ball. So it's kind of like packing a bowling ball around. That, that's why it's, it, it's better if my wife and I walk together. She carries one bag and I got this. Hi, my name is Joy Harrison and I'm a nurse that works with the LVAD program at California Pacific Medical Center. This is an LVAD. This is a pump that goes into patients' hearts on the left side of the ventricle and helps pump blood throughout the body. You can see the pump here and the water is moving through symbolizing blood pumping through the body. Because this is a pump, it needs to be attached to power all the time. From the pump that's inserted during a surgical procedure, the line that comes out of the pump is called the drive line. This line is tunneled under your skin and comes out in the abdomen. The drive line is connected to the system controller this is like the brains of the pump. The system controller has three separate lines on it. The primary line is the drive line. The other two lines are power cables. The pump needs to run with power at all times. The power is either supplied through the wall unit, which is the power module, or a home power unit that's a little bit smaller than this unit here. The power unit is then plugged into the wall to supply power to the pump when patients are sleeping or napping. The other way to get power to the LVAD is through batteries. Patients are given eight batteries when they leave the hospital. The batteries are charged by a universal battery charger which charges four batteries at a time. And it is safe to leave the batteries on the charger when they're not in use. The batteries are connected to the system controller using adapters called battery clips. They're inserted into the batteries following the arrows indicators. The pump must be connected to two batteries at all times. But when the patients are switching from wall power to battery power and one line is disconnected, there's no interruption to the pump flow. Remember, there's many redundancies in the system, so unplugging one of the power cables will not make the pump stop. Patients are instructed to change one battery at a time.
The pump is run by two batteries that drain simultaneously. Batteries last approximately 12 to 14 hours for two. There's many indicators on the controller, batteries, as well as the battery charger indicating how charged the batteries are. When patients leave their home or are out of bed, they're instructed to change to battery power. When patients are on battery power, they need to keep the batteries as well as the system controller close to their body at all times. Dropping or pulling the system controller can cause an interruption in the skin around the exit site, which could lead to infection. You must secure the drive line on your abdomen, either using an abdominal binder or a silicone anchor that we call Foley anchors to make the line stay secure to your body. But the best way to care for the system controller is by keeping it in a bag or a pouch close to their body at all times. There's a few different options for patients with the LVAD. Patients are given a holster vest like this, where they can put batteries in. and carry the batteries on the side like a holster. The system controller can be secured by a belt adapter or a fanny pack or a bag of your choice. The most important thing is securing your equipment and always keeping your equipment with you. You can never be disconnected from power. Patients are able to drive after the approval of their cardiologist after their sternum bone heals. One big restriction that patients have with the LVAD is no swimming. Since the drive line comes out of the abdomen, there's no swimming, bathing, hot tubs, nothing that will submerge the line underwater. But patients are able to shower with a waterproof shower bag. I have the bag here. and patients are given two of these bags before they leave the hospital. In the bags, our patients put two batteries and the system controller, and it's secured by a zipper and a latch. Patients are then able to get into the shower safely and are able to cleanse their body. During the hospital stay, we spend time with patients and their support people, helping them feel comfortable discharging home. Getting patients ready to go home includes learning about the home equipment, as well as learning any alarms that might happen with the LVAD. We teach them about carrying an emergency bag with them at all times. This bag contains a backup controller as well as backup batteries. The backup controller is in the bag in the unlikely event that the primary controller stops. The emergency bag also has an identification tag to alert emergency medical responders or hospitals that this belongs to an LVAD patient. Our team has a doctor on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week for any concerns that may arise. We went to uh, Arizona to watch the Giants uh, practice the spring training. I did fine there. And uh, that was our first time packing all this up because you got to pack a, a charger and uh, you have a wall unit you plug in. Uh, we got that all in uh, one of the carry-on bags. And uh, we got through security fairly well without too much trouble. But so we're just kind of experiencing, uh, you know, just living with this. And there's different plateaus of recovery. Uh, I think in the last month, I've, I've gone up another step as far as a level of, of feeling good. After the implant, I was able to do uh, a lot more things than I was able to do before. I, I can go on longer walks. Yesterday, I walked three miles. And uh, when they would test me in a hospital, 
towards the end there, they were having me walk the distance of three football fields in the hallway. They mark it off with tape and you go back and forth. You get stronger and stronger. This gets also lighter in a sense because you're stronger uh, to be able to carry this. So I, I guess the rest is history and, and I, I've done extremely well after this procedure. I would recommend anybody who was in my position, this is uh, the way to go. 